I want you to leave your answer in third form, okay, using the quadratic formula, all right? So this time we won't actually do any calculations. We'll just leave our answer in the third form and we'll perhaps break down any third that needs breaking down. All right, so A is 1, B is minus 8, and C is minus 5. So let's put that into our formula. So we've got minus B, so minus B. B is minus 8, so that's going to go inside a bracket here. Plus or minus square root minus 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 5, all over 2 times 1. And that's that. And now we'll tidy things up. So we get minus times minus, which is a positive 8 when they come out. So plus and minus. That minus 8 squared is 64. Minus and a minus here would give us a positive overall. 4 times 1 times 5 is plus 20, all over 2. <clears throat> so we have x is equal to 8 plus or minus. 64 plus 20 is 84, all over 2. Now, we want to break up that 84, root 84. Um, for this, if you are unsure, please refer to my lesson on um, thirds. It's got everything on how to simplify a third. But I'll do this one here for you guys as reference. So we want to divide by the largest square number that goes into 84. If you don't know that straight away, it's not a problem. Start with the smaller ones and then um, you can just simplify further, okay? So, so I know that four goes into um, 84. So four times 21, so root 21 here. And that would be, square root of four would be two, so two root 21. So I'm gonna now put that two root 21 in here. So I'll have x is equal to eight plus or minus two root 21 all over two. So as you, what I've done here is see that root 84, I've broken it down into um, this form. So two root, uh, sorry, two root 21 is still root 84. And I've just put that in here. Now, the reason I've done this is because I can now look for common terms and something to cancel down with. So see here, eight, two, and two, what do they all have in common? Two, two goes into all of them. So I can divide this by two, I can divide this by two, and I can divide that by two. When I divide this by two, I get four. That divided by two is one. That divided by two is one. So overall, it leaves me with four plus or minus one root 21. I don't need to write the one here. So just root 21 all over one, which I also don't need to write. So my two solutions are going to be, and I'll write it here, x is equal to 4 plus root 21, or it's going to be x is equal to 4 minus root 21. And that is the answer in third form. All right, on to our final question. This time, I want you to do this one, okay? So solve 3x squared plus 6x equals 5, leaving your answer in third form. So press pause and come back to it and then compare your answers with mine. All right, so let's see what you did then. Um, the first thing you should have done is dealt with this five by putting it into the quadratic format, which is to simply move this five over to this side. And that will give us three x squared plus six x minus five equals zero. Because there's a positive here, when you move something over to the other side, you change the sign. So it's a minus five. All right, next step would be to identify your A, your B, and your C. So our A is 3, our B is positive 6, and our C is minus 5. Second, after that, is to substitute our values into the quadratic formula. So we have minus, which is part of the formula itself, and then minus 6, so is, which is our B. So plus and minus B squared, which is 6 squared here minus four times by a, which is three, times by c, which is minus five. That's all over two times three. And that's what x is going to be. And we are now gonna go and work out everything individually. So we have minus six here. We have 36 minus and a minus once again plus 
and then we have four times three times five. So four times five is 20, 20 times three is 60. So that's going to be 60 here, and then two times three, which is six. After that, I'm just going to continue this way. So we're now going to add 36 and 60, which is minus six plus or minus 96 over six. So is this our final answer? No, it's not because we haven't simplified it. You see that root 96? We can break it down. We can break down that third. So we're going to break up root 96. Um, we're looking for the largest square number that goes in there. If you can't get to that largest square number straight away, it's not a problem. So for example, 4 and 24 um, can give you that. But 4 isn't the largest square number that goes into 96. But if you've done that, no problem. You're just going to have to break up that square root of 24 again. So we know that 16, root 16, times by root 6. 16 times 6 is 96. And 16, root 16 gives us 4 and root 6. So root 96 can be rewritten as 4 root 6. So we can come along back here and we can replace, instead of root 96, we're going to write down 4 root 6. So we'll just do that over here. So minus 6 plus and minus 4 root 6 all over 6. And now that we've replaced it, now we'll notice that 6, 6, and 4 here, they have something in common. And that is, they can all be divided by 2. So that divided by 2 gives us 3, that divided by 2 gives us 2, and that divided by 2 gives us 3. So the final answer will be x is equal to um, minus 3, so minus 3 here, plus and minus 2 root 6 all over 3. So our two answers are going to be minus 3 plus 2 root 6 over 3 or minus 3 minus 2 root 6 over 3. And that is our answer in third form and we have solved this using the quadratic formula. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I hope you're more confident with using quadratic formula. It is an easy formula to use and this is why I've prepared you for more difficult types of questions where you have to leave it in third form and you have to use, for example, the breaking down of third, another topic, um, and uh, be able to solve it um, using that. Okay. Please don't forget to like the video and please share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't done so already, guys, it really, really helps me a lot if you could press that um, subscribe button and hit that bell icon as well so you are notified every single time a new video is uploaded, you are one of the first to watch it. Goodbye for now and see you in the next video.